Welcome back to Walnut Springs. My name is Mike. Today, I wanna to show you how to remove and install a sealed cartridge bottom bracket. Let's get to it. The only tools that you're going to need to do this job is a bottom bracket removal tool and some grease. Since I already showed you guys how to remove a crank set in another video, a link will be right here and also in my description on how to do this. I'm gonna skip this step and the list of tools that you would need to remove your crank set, but you do have to remove this in order to get to the bottom bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and get straight to the bottom bracket. In a sealed cartridge bottom bracket, you will see two sides to this. This side is going to contain the actual sealed cartridge and the other side is more like a sleeve but from the outside you can't really tell which one is which traditionally the cartridge is going to be installed on the drive side so i usually like to start with the drive side first and what we do is we take our bottom bracket tool and we'll just line it up with the splines that are on the bottom bracket and then from there, we can take either a wrench or this particular one uses this little tool that came with it that basically fits on the end. And then it uses a eight millimeter Allen key. Now in order to loosen this, so I usually just hold on to the back part of the bike when it's in my stand and then just give it a good push. Sometimes these can be on here very, very tight. Uh, so you may have to use some sort of lubricant like WD-40 to get the threads loose. But once you start unthreading it, it should come out fairly easy. And if this is really dirty, you'll feel like some grittiness, but this one is fairly clean because I recently did this one. But here is the bottom bracket fully removed. As you can see, this is a completely sealed up system. Now is a perfect time to clean this along with the inside of the bottom bracket shell. So let's go ahead and let's remove the other side of this so I can show you what that looks like. Okay, here we are on the other side. As you can see, this looks really similar, but now since the bottom bracket's out, we don't see the square taper sticking out. We're just gonna take our tool, stick it on here just like we did the other one, and then we can uninstall this side. And now remember this side is gonna go towards the front of the bike also. That's the easiest way to remember it. Loosening goes towards the front of the bike and tightening it goes back towards the back end of the bike. So this is gonna be a counterclockwise motion on the non-drive side. And here is what this piece looks like once you've got it fully out. Some of these are made with different materials this is just made with what looks to be like an aluminum. Okay, now that we've got this uninstalled and we're ready to reinstall our bottom bracket, let's start with the shell. So we're just gonna assemble this completely backwards from the way that we took it off. I like to apply a little bit of grease to these threads. That way it's fairly easy to remove the next time you go to maintenance the bottom bracket. And just remember, anytime you thread anything in, just start threading it by hand at first. You don't want to cross thread this. Once you've got it started, you can just put your installer removal tool on there and just start hand tightening it with that. And just kind of hand tighten that for now. Don't put a lot of pressure on it. And then we'll install the other side. Okay, this is gonna be the same process for this side. We're just gonna put a little bit of grease on the threads here. And then we're also gonna put a little bit of grease on this portion that's not threaded. That's gonna meet into the sleeve. It's not 100% necessary, but I like to do that because I have seen these bottom brackets actually seize onto that little area once they've sat inside the bike for quite a while, especially if you ride out in the, in the rain or anything like that. You definitely wanna get grease on any point where metal is contacting metal. Okay, and then we just simply just insert this in and you'll feel it pop out the other side. And then remember this is going to tighten by going back towards the back of the bike, or on this case, it's gonna be counterclockwise on the drive side. So we can just put our tool on here and start tightening this in. 
Now would be a really good time to set the torque settings for this bottom bracket whenever you're installing it. They recommend between 30 and 40 Newton meters. I do not have a torque wrench that can go that high. Mine only goes to 25. So anytime that I install these, I usually just give them a relatively good push whenever installing them, about like that. And then I go back and I do this on the other side just to make sure everything is nice and tight. With this method, I've never had any issues with these falling apart. But if you do have any creaking issues or squeaking issues, you may want to invest into a torque wrench and make sure that you've got this torqued down to the proper settings. Now that we've got this fully installed and tightened down, we're ready to put the crank set back on and get out and ride. And there you go. That's how easy it is to remove and install a sealed cartridge bottom bracket. If you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and click that like button. Leave me a comment below. Let me know, have you ever removed or installed a sealed cartridge bottom bracket? And if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. Also, if you saw a tool in this video that you don't have to do this job, go ahead and look in the description below. I'll put some links down there. And if you purchase from those links, a little bit of that comes back and helps out my channel. And I really appreciate it. But as always, get out there, run, bike, build, and just have fun. We'll see you in the next one.